Okay, we're recording. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. We are so happy to be here and joining you guys for another Stir Crazy Saturday. This is our third one. I can't believe we've been doing this for three months already. And you know what? It's just going to keep going because we are having so much fun doing it. Um, the whole idea that we gathered to, uh, you know, collaborated in this was that myself, Sherry Cosplin, I'm from um, Ontario, Canada, and leaders. Um, Tracy Castor from Arizona and director, now new director, Stacy Woodworth. Um, we collaborated on this because we knew that, you know, being in a pandemic changes things for everybody. It changes the way we approach our meals. It changes the way that we are looking at our time with our family. And it's also kind of created this stir crazy feeling because we're not going out to enjoy meals in restaurants the same way or getting with, together with friends. And we need a little bit of change up to, you know, make better than take out at home and, and make things a little bit more exciting. So that's kind of the stir crazy kind of background of why we're here and, and why we want to get together. But also because we wanted to share something. We've been in this pandemic now for a year, like a, a year has gone by since this pandemic began. And you know what, guys, there's, it's not going to go away right away. Like we have to kind of still plow through this. But we also wanted to be able to give you guys something that felt like our community that we love so much when we're together in person, and that we're, you know, collaborating in person. And that feeling's been missing for me, especially on our area, we're not open yet. We're not able to get together and um, I really miss that. I really miss being with people. And so this is just another opportunity for us to collect as a community and share and, you know, create some, some opportunity for you guys to gain, um, you know, experience and, and inspiration and kind of just great nuggets of information. And also, you know, that we can add some value to the things that you guys are adding to your kitchen through all of our amazing virtual cooking classes. Um, and though some of us are able to do in-person classes or slowly starting to add those, you know, the online aspect of our business has been booming. And this is just another way that we can connect with all of you. So we're really glad to be here. Um, this is, like I said, our third um, Stir Crazy. And this week, we, we or this month, we um, are all about cookware. So the ABCs of our cookware. And so we wanted to be really focused and not overwhelm you guys with too much cookware. So we're going to actually highlight our um, kitchen setup because that's got some of our favorite cookware in it. Though we have a few little extras added in for each of us and we're all going to demo a little bit. So each of us will take our turn again um, and demo a little bit of other things added in. So, um, yeah, we're highlighting cookware, ways that you can use that cookware in your kitchen that maybe you hadn't thought about because we, we all know how they are, you know, inten intended for use, um, you know, basically as intended in the catalog, but maybe there's other ways that you haven't thought about, or maybe they would be something that might be something you, you've been looking for and didn't know you needed. So that's about what we are doing today. And I'm going to pass it on, I think, I don't know who's up first. I forgot to look at that part. Is it Tracy or Stacy that's up first? I think it's Stacy, but maybe she's talking muted. I have down that I'm oh, second. You're yeah, second. Okay. Stacy, are you ready to go with your? Yeah. Cookware? First, yes, before so we go, I'm up next. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and so, you guys, um, clappers ready. Again. What'd you say? I said, I forgot to say, get your clappers and your stirrers up, up and ready. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, I know everybody's got their video off today, but we hope again, always, we just want to bring you some value. So always an invitation to to circle back to your consultant. What questions do you have? What do you um, need other recipes for other ideas, other uses? Because we, um, my friend Sarah always says we are not a one trick pony. There's lots of ways to use the different things. And the cookware is a great way to highlight that. In talking about what we wanted to feature, I think this is a great spot to pause too. As we look ahead this summer, um, I'm already looking ahead to summer, even though we're just coming out of winter, but the kitchen setup collection is also a great gifting idea. So housewarming or those people who are setting up a second home or those that are transitioning into a camper, these are some great things that you might find just really valuable for that but also gifting to that per, the couple that's getting married or that couple that's moving into their home. So whether it's for yourself or someone else, but I'm going to share about a couple of things. Um, I know that Diane shared that the pots are one of her favorites. 
mine as well. So I'm going to talk about first our pots. Now, the only way right now that you can get the eight cup pot is with the kitchen setup collection, but I have the 12 cup. <clears throat> and these pots are fantastic um, for so many reasons, but really when it comes down to like solving mealtime dilemmas, right? It's about the speed and the ease of cooking. So I love this pot because Tracy, as she has taught me, um, you, this is, the pot is in, is in American and in Canada. <laughs> On both sides, it has your measurements. So you don't have to have that extra measuring cup. If you're making a soup, making a broth, making a simple syrup for our summer cocktails or things like that. But it's got the measurements right in here. This is, like Diane said, it is great for induction surfaces. So that is fantastic. It also has this great candle that always stays cool. So I know people are using this um, as well. Um, and just so many different cooking surfaces, whether it's their outdoor stove, in their home, so many different ways that they're cooking with this. And this, I have to say, is probably one of my favorite parts, but it's got the built-in lid and strainer. So again, I am simple, Stacy. I don't want extra dishes and I don't want extra time. So I can cook my pasta right in here and strain it out. Um, it's just got the two kinds of strainers right in that lid. So this is the 12 cup pot. The eight cup is simply smaller. And then this is the collapsible strainer. So let me pause and back up a second. This, first of all, when we are, I'm so excited and looking forward to camping this summer. So look at how tiny this thing is. Super small in taking up space. But it can double as a trivet. So we use this last We were using this last summer then when we went camping because I could put it right on the picnic table and have my pot or whatever on it. But then I can also simply, very quickly, I had that popped out so that we can, you can just do so many things with it. It's a huge capacity too. It's eight cups. Um, so, and I love that it's flexible. So if I'm draining something, none of my pasta is running away, or excuse me, like if I'm pouring it back, none of that is falling out of the big wide mouth strainer or colander that you might have. So it, it's flexible, <clears throat> but you can wash your, your fruit and your produce and it just it makes it really simple. Um, also, because it's the silicone, it's not going to scratch your sink surface or countertop surface or anything like that. Um, doubles is a trivet. So small space. That's the thing I really love. So small apartment, cottage, your camper. This is great. But also, do you know that you can turn your 12 cup pot now into a steamer with this? So if I'm cooking rice in my steamer, but I still wanted to have some steamed broccoli, here's a great way that you can still get that done. What I'm going to show you guys, this is so fun. Um, we're going to use this today to make taco bowls for um, my dinner tonight. And a fun idea that Sherry already shared with me, like if you guys want to know great recipes, you should be friends with Sherry. <laughs> that's why, that's one of the reasons I'm friends with her. <laughs> but we're going to just take, take your favorite tortilla and I'm just going to put it down into my strainer. Has anybody done this? Raise your hand, make a, raise your spoon if you have done this. I'm doing mine plain because we're going to do taco bowls tonight, but you guys, Sherry's idea was she has brushed this with some, what, Sherry, did you say oil and cinnamon and sugar or butter? Yeah, you can use oil or butter. butter. Yeah. yeah. Cinnamon or even and water. Butter. Yeah. And then she turned, she turned it into the little dessert bowls, like for ice cream. How genius is she? So we are. I feel like that's an oil and butter. Why, why pick one? So don't, don't, don't choose. You just go with both. But for me, for tonight, this is part of our dinner that I'm going to do here in a bit. But we're going to make some plain um, taco bowls. Okay. So your microwave will differ, but it could be a minute um, up to a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. But just watch it. I've already tested it. Now, the other thing that I want to feature, and we're gonna come back to what's cooking in there is because I've already done this. I eat gluten-free, so I did my gluten-free one earlier. Look at this, you guys, this is like a healthy little taco bowl, but I know what is in my tortilla and it doesn't have all the extra crud 
of when I used to go and get a taco salad at the restaurant. I can't have those anymore because they are gluten, but I can have this and it is crispy. We've already been sampling on it today. So super excited about that. And then what I'm also wanting to talk to you guys about is our awesome four cup prep bowls. If you already have one or two of these, would you drop that in the comment? I don't think you can have enough of these. <laughs> Three of them. We could put, we could have a little contest. Three of them. Yeah. Nice four taco bowls. Sure. On your wish list. Awesome. For those of you that say these are on your wish list or you know that you love the one you have and you want another one. Do you know in April, this is going to be the hostess exclusive. Um, also, if you're hosting right now, you can claim this in April, but this is a four cup prep bowl. Many reasons to love these, but I'm gonna share with you a few of the highlights. First of all, simply, they stack in super low profile. So you could have a whole bunch of these and it's not taking up an, a lot of cabinet space. And they come with these great silicone lids, which are super flexible, but durable. I have other glass bowls with plastic lids and they're all cracking and breaking. So these have been super durable and they stack. So you can have your salad, your nourish bowls prepped for the week, or maybe you've prepped um, a nourish bowl. You've got some fruit or veggie dip prepped. Maybe you've got your salsa for taco night. The glass bowl is going to let you easily find what, you're, what you've got already prepped in your bowl. So I love that. I love that I can stack them up. Also, dishwasher safe. Everything here is just so easy for cleanup and for use. Um, and right, because they're simple and pretty, I can make, I can um, serve, and then I can store all in one spot. So that's great whether I'm doing, like I said, any of those um, great things for dips and such. So let's see my tortilla and then I'm gonna pack this on. Ooh, so this time I go, oh, it's interesting. So this is real life. You guys don't do a minute and a half in my microwave. I did a minute and a half earlier, but I had done a minute and then a half a minute. So I need to break it up, but it is totally awesome and done. And I had a few other things, but I want to be mindful of time. So that is the three things that I was wanting to share about. And again, if you love this prep bowl, talk to your consultant because hosting is going to be a way that you can get your always hosting. You can get your Epicure for free or half price. So it's awesome. Awesome. Tracy, what are you cooking up, girl? Hi, my name is Tracy Pastor coming at you. Oh, is anyone else hearing that feedback? Is it, okay, good. It's probably like from my kid zone in there. Um, my name is Tracy Castor. I am coming at you live from Gilbert, Arizona. Welcome and thank you for joining our third Stir Crazy. On that note, Stacy, do you have exactly what to, are we sharing what comes with the prep bowl for the host exclusive in, um, in April? Oh yeah, sorry, go ahead. Sherry's got it. Yeah, sorry. I had them here too. <laughs> so oh yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, I don't have them yet, you guys. I am excited. Yeah, I got them from last summer. These are my last two, so I'm so happy they're coming back. Yeah. Really good. Sweet and smoky, garlicky dill, toppers, really yummy. That's not really what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm here to talk to you about sheet pans, liners, and our fairly new cooling racks. So I know everybody has, I think all of our guests are on um, no camera. I get it. I didn't really want to be on camera either today, but here I am. <laughs> so pop in the chat if you own one of our sheet pans or liners. I'd say, yeah, do your spatula, but we're not going to see people do their spatula. Or our cooling rack. So I'm going to go through one at a time, but I use these all the time in my kitchen for a variety of things. So first and foremost, you have all of them. I love it, Diane. Thank you for answering. First and foremost, our sheet pan liners, our Epicure Purple. Uh, mine just got used and I gave it a wipe down, but it's probably, it, I'm shocked it's still cool because it was a little warm when it started. I wasn't sure I'd be able to pick it up. You don't have any of them. Your wish list is huge. Yeah, it's you know great time to host for that for sure. So these are um, food grade, BPA free, silicone, good in the oven to 425. 
fantastic. Think of replacing things like parchment paper, tin foil, so that, and what I really love is they fit right in the sheet pan. So they're fitting right in there. I don't know if you've ever baked cookies with parchment paper. You go to pull it out of the oven and the parchment paper slides off to one side because it's not fitted. This won't happen that way. So I take, even if we're going to a VRBO or a Marriott property, and no matter where you live, it will happen again soon, I promise. But when you go to those other places, I hate using their cookware because honestly, it's usually not good quality. And it, it marks really easily. It doesn't come clean easily because they just buy on a lower budget. I always take my liner and I just put it over whatever they have. And then I don't spend hours of my vacation time cleaning up their pans. That's my little trick on that. So the liners also, there's a great recipe and I have this laminated, so I'm hoping it's not too bright in here that you can see, but who remembers those cake rolls that grandma used to make? They look, can we see that? Yeah, kind of, that roll up. So you're baking on the sheet pan liner and then you're rolling up the bread with summer berry inside. This is on our website. If you're interested, it's called the summer berry cake roll. And that is an amazing thing to do. Oh, hit the right side, there we go, with your sheet pan. How fun is that? There's also options to make a chocolatey one, um, using our protein powders, lots of fun things. So that's why I love our sheet pans. A couple of important things, you wanna make sure you don't use sharp things on it. No pizza cutters, even honestly when it's hot, I wouldn't even do a butter knife with those little serrated things. It's too sharp and you will put a cut in it. I have yet to cut one of these, but I did, use a like a pointy butter knife and put a little nick in my steamer. So now I just don't use sharp things, which is a great time. And I wasn't gonna talk about this, but in the US, our entire prep pro collection just returned. So the timing was perfect. So yeah, here we are. These are three of them, but this is our lifter. You can see the corners are rounded. It's silicone. It's not gonna mark your stuff. This is an amazing half price uh, item or a gift for yourself. I've been using all of these for 18 months. And now I'm back again, 18 months is probably about right. Now I'm back doing uh, a couple of in-home parties from time to time. So these are coming in and out of my cooking class bag, getting used two and three times a day and still looking spectacular. So that's the prep pro utensil set. It's like a tongue twister. Um, that's just an aside to remind you to not use knives on this. And when I even sharp, I don't know, I don't own any of these, but I know my parents do. Those flippers that are metal and square or rectangle, very pointy on the edge, also need to be careful when this is hot. So I would always go with something that's a little more beveled, is very thin at the end for helping you lift a cookie and not break it apart, um, a flipper like this. Couple of other important things you wanna make sure you're never using something like a Pam cooking spray on any of our silicone, but it goes just the same here. So I use, somewhere within my reach, I use something like this, which is an avocado oil that specifically says no propellants. So it's, and if I look at the ingredients, it just says avocado oil. So no propellants in the spray, it doesn't have to be avocado, it can be olive or canola or whatever your jam is. And if you don't have that, it's okay. You can take a normal bottle of olive oil or avocado oil and like um, take a square or paper towel and just fold it up and just tip it over the end. Use the paper towel and rub on here if you need to oil it. What I actually like to oil is the rack, to be honest. And I'm gonna show you what's in my oven in about two seconds, but I'll keep talking because I don't think they're, they're gonna be done, but we're gonna leave them as long as we can. So what's fun, full-size sheet pan, full-size um, sheet pan liner come as single items. Quarter size sheet pan, quarter size liner come as pairs. So you get two of these, two of these. Sorry, I know it's so shiny, it's like blinding you. <laughs> I, can, I can do SOS signals right here, uh, which might be necessary in my teenage household today. <laughs> the cooling racks also come as a set of two. So great things to pair off. And if you have um, someone that you want to share things with. It's a great way. These, this little bundle right here is a great thing. If you buy two of each and you have a couple of adult kiddos moving out, I mean, what a great little thing to be able to send them. Again, it fits right inside the quarter pan or two of them will fit side by side in here. And you're going to see another one in my oven in a sec. But my other little trick with all of these fun things going back and forth is you can take the quarter, if you had two quarters, remember they come as a quarter, and they fit side by side in here. So imagine I have a second one. So if you have someone that has an allergy 
or really, I know Sherry has a daughter that doesn't like a specific color of pepper. So <laughs> it's a great way to split up your meal because you have these little ridges in between. Or come Christmas time when you're making a white chocolate bark and a regular chocolate bark, you can do it all in one pan and use two of these little guys inside one big pan. So lots of mix and matching. My other fun trick with this, this who recognizes this as our glorious Epicure double-sided cutting board. How many times have you cut and then realized, oh, this what I'm cutting is too juicy and my counter is now like an ocean. This fits in here inside the sheet pan liner. So if you're cutting a really ripe pineapple, this is a lifesaver or a really moist chicken or a roast. We like our roasts a little on the medium rare side, even after they rest, juices are going to run. So you can cut it here. It doesn't go all over your kitchen. And then if it's juice you want, for example, the pineapple juice, you could simply pick this up and pour it into whatever, a prep bowl to keep for a smoothie the next morning. It becomes amazing. What I love about these cooling racks, and I'm gonna grab this out of the oven while I talk, is that they allow me to do things in the oven and the cooling rack can go right in the oven as well, or it can be used for cookies, uh, when you're drying them, whatever you might need, or drying them, <laughs> when they're resting after they come out of the oven, don't dry your cookies, it's a bad idea. But the, I do like to spray these. We often use it for bacon as well. The air gets around it. So it's, can you tell here? It's elevated off. So let's see there, I guess. It's elevated, the air can get around. So I'm not in and out of the oven flipping things, which I'm a big fan of. So these are chicken wings and they're big ones because I didn't separate them. They're not going to be done, but I want to give you an idea. They're about half done. But they are not going to flip them. They are going to come out beautiful. They're going to be crispy because the air is getting out all around them. I definitely want to spray the uh, the cooling racks, or they will stick, no doubt. I'm put them back in because my oven mitts are only so good. For reference, those are on uh, about four four twenty is what I'm cooking them on. They'll probably take an hour in total because again, I didn't separate the joint of the the wing part and the leg part. Just a couple of ideas on that before I pass it over to Sherry. What I have on those is the, ooh, the rotisserie chicken seasoning, which is delicious on its own, tasty, yummy. You can do a nice ranch dip on the side. But other things I've used for wings, I'm out of it right now where I'd show you a pack, is the buffalo chicken seasoning. It's a, honestly a bit spicy for me, but my husband loves it. Um, sweet garlic chicken over the wings. And I just throw them all in a big Ziploc bag, seal it and shake the daylights out of it. Just like shake and bake, but without all the junk is really what you're doing there. Uh, Southern bake, which is like a healthy version of a gluten-free shake and bake with lots of great flavor and spices as well, but also lots of great things for your health. Chia seeds, psyllium husk fiber, great way to sneak that in. The kids won't even know. And my husband's, if he doesn't want spicy, this is his number one favorite. He just wants the salt, pepper, garlic, which if you don't have this in your kitchen, I gotta tell you, and I know we're talking cookware. I'm tangenting just for a minute to tell you what I'm cooking on my cookware. If you don't have this little guy in your kitchen, the salt, pepper, garlic, it gets used almost every day in our house. It's super fine. My kids think they don't like pepper, but what they don't like is the look of cracked black pepper. We put this in their food and they love the flavor of it. So it doesn't give that strong peppery aroma that a pepper cracker does, but all the right flavors with herbs, garlic, and salt. And that's a great thing to do on wings as well. I think that, oh, no, one more thing. Don't go, hang on. I just saw someone do this. I've never done this yet myself because I just learned it. So this is a traditional lasagna pan. Yours might be clear glass, it doesn't matter. But again, think of those times when we're traveling places or when we're at someone else's house and we're like, oh, I just ran out of tin foil or I just ran out of parchment paper and you need a lid for something upside down with your silicone liner covering your pan. And again, if you're doing a small pan, you could use this little guy, but this big feller, Fits a bit. This is a very big lasagna pan and that's gonna fit right over. And then for the last bit of browning, I just peel it off. How versatile is this piece of cookware? Over to you, Sherry. Awesome. I am a huge fan of those sheet pan liners. And I gotta tell you, speaking of tricks that you just learned, um, there is a consultant, well, leader and senior director, I think she is now, um, that uses two silicone liners, one on top of the other. So you turn one on the pan and turn the other one upside down and steams in her oven. Like it blows my mind. I can't wait to try that one. So it's kind of like creating a the opportunity to steam and crisp at the same time. So you kind of, I'm thinking like um, asparagus, like I can't wait to try that one. Um, so I am talking about a couple little 
tidbits that are added to that collection and some of my favorite items that I can't believe actually how often I use them. So you may have seen this before. Most people think of our cruet in terms of salad dressings and they are absolutely fabulous for that. But you can see I've already got one in here that I don't use them just exclusively for salad dressings. I will tell you summertime is coming and these get used actually for simple syrups more than they get used for salad dressings in the summer because I love it. And, um, but I have several of these for salad dressings, for simple syrups, but also for what's in this guy. So raise your hand or stir it up. If you've got teenagers or maybe even yourself that hates mornings, like I hate mornings. I'm not a person that enjoys mornings. So if I can save, you know, a few extra minutes in the morning and stay in bed rather than worry about my breakfast before I've got to go somewhere, I'm going to do it. Um, the other thing too, is I remember like I work at home now where I work on the ice in the evenings, but when I was working my full-time job as a vet tech, I was in the clinic at 7 a.m. And I would have killed for this kind of option in the morning where I could prep my breakfast and go and make it at the clinic while I'm walking dogs or whatever I was doing. And so this is also a to-go idea for those of you who are headed out early in the morning, or even if you are traveling and you're looking at a hotel option, and this is kind of a sneak peek of something that you might be able to see in a future stir crazy, if we're going to do it on the road kind of ideas, um, you know, just something that you can do um, on the road, no matter whether you're going to a soccer game tournament, whether you're going, you know, just for a weekend away and you want to take some healthier breakfast rather than the, you know, who knows what's in your eggs at the restaurants. Um, so speaking of eggs, that's what I've got in here already. I've got one egg and raise your hands if you've got littles at home, or maybe you just can't be trusted to crack an egg. Somebody in your house that can't trust, trust to crack, crack an egg. I've got one of those. <laughs> so grab your funnel. That's also part of the um, kitchen setup and put that in just like you would if you were making salad dressing. And I will tell you, I love this um, cutting board for its edges for cutting, cracking eggs because I'm not so good at doing it on my counter. And so I find I can crack an egg on the side of my, hopefully I can do that. And just, can you guys see this here? I'm just cracking the egg into my funnel and then just give it a little shake for the yolk to go down. And I've got two eggs in there. Now I know my friend Tracy Castor taught me this. I went on the road in the summer and you can hold six eggs in this. So six, you don't have to worry about breaking eggs while you're traveling. So, but I use this for early mornings as well. So I'll throw in um, two eggs and my teenagers love this because we can make an omelet. I'm making an omelet um, ahead of time without actually having to worry about it. You just shake it up in the cruet and then dump and go in the morning. So another tidbit that's in the kitchen setup is these gadgets. These are fabulous. This is our Prep Pro scissors. I use these so much, including, see that ham. So cutting up my ham for an omelet, I will prep this ahead. Like, can you guys see this? I hope you can. Um, and just prep up the ham as well. Sometimes I throw it in, sometimes I don't. Depends on whether I know who's having the omelet or whether I've just got some eggs prepped ahead but I can chop up my ham super quick with these. I use them for pizza. If you ever make um, you know, mini pizzas in the oven or whether you make large pizzas or even some flatbreads in the oven, they're great for cutting that up. Um, all kinds of veggies. Now I did a couple, a piece of ham ahead already. And I often do this as well. This is a plug for my favorite prep, little prep bowls that are um, you know, purchased individually in a set of four great silicone lids, but I will put ham in the fridge as well, or I'll throw it right into the cruet. Today, I'm not gonna throw it into the cruet. I'm just gonna, cause I have it out. Um, but also eggs are in there. I'm gonna grab one of my favorite companions. If you're looking for a gift or something that you wanna use for your host credits, or you're thinking something that's an addition to your, um, you know, your kitchen, maybe you have a friend that's new to Epicure and you're thinking, I'd love to give them a good starter. I mean, who doesn't know how great the Extraordinary Trio is? That's one of my favorite seasonings. Raise your hand if you've tried the Extraordinary Trio. Well, let me tell you guys, these are my go-tos for breakfast as well. So I might use a combination of them. Today, I'm just gonna use three onion because it replaces the onion. So I can throw this in here and I don't have to chop an onion. There's one step less to do. Um, and I can throw the three onion in here and have a Western. Western is just onions and ham and that's super simple. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of three onion in there. Now I'm gonna go back to the cruet 
or to the funnel, but I'm going to actually grab a different one because it's already wet and I don't want to get it stuck, but I would have probably done that first. Um, and I'm just going to throw in probably a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. And if you can see this guy here, this measurement spice spoon is one of my favorite gadgets in the kitchen too. If you don't have one, you need one. It replaced all measuring spoons in my kitchen. Love it. It's probably in every demo I do. In fact, I know it is. Um, and just dump it in. Take the funnel out, put the lid back on. Speaking of lids, guys, if you ever lose your lid, let your consultant know because we can order a replacement one for you. Your crew, it's not lost. And then shake. You don't have to stir it. So imagine if you have somebody that's time, you know, starved in the morning, maybe it's yourself. Maybe you just want to have the eggs cracked for your kids. Maybe they're old enough to be at home in the morning on their own, but they aren't great at cracking eggs. You want to have a good breakfast before you're headed off to school. Do this up in the fridge, store it. You're ready to go. That, that goes straight into the fridge. But I have a little partner gadget to add to show. And I'm going to throw this in the microwave. It'll be done shortly. But this omelet maker, speaking of gifts for people who might have everything in their kitchen, maybe you're looking at it as a hostess, 50% um, off item or a free item. The omelet maker is a must have. Love this thing. I use it for so much. In fact, you can actually in a hotel, cook a whole chicken breast in it. I kid you not season it up, cook a chicken breast. I've, I do a lot of hotel rooms um, as a professional skating coach and normal non pandemic times. I live in a hotel pretty much from January to March uh, on the weekends. So all these tricks are so handy, but also for somebody who's headed off to work, like think that you're doing breakfast at work, stick this in your purse, stick this in your purse. You can put a little beer koozie on top of this and, and keep it cool while you're headed to work. You've got an omelet to go and you're eating healthy instead of grabbing McDonald's on the way. So no, no um, greaser or uh, oil needed. I'm just gonna pour that straight in. And it'll nicely hold um, the two eggs that I'm doing and just give it a shake out. Now, easy to clean. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, eggs in there. Just throw a little bit of soap, a little bit of water, shake it back up and it cleans super simple as well. Yes, college students for sure. College students can use these for sure. So then I'm just gonna throw in the ham, but if I wanted, I could have thrown it right into the cruet. Um, I could have thrown anything in there, onions, you name it, but I've got my onions for the seasoning, got some ham. I feel like a little bit of cheese. Here's another trick for the time starved people. Use your prep bowls, grate some cheese and keep it in your fridge. Your kids will make food if it's already half prepped for them. You will make healthier food if it's already half prepped for you. So I'm throwing a little cheese on top, that's it. And then here's a trick I learned. So if you've got clumsy kids, and I, I do, they're teenagers, but they're still clumsy. So these little, um, uh, cutting mats. Sometimes little hands can find this hard because it's sloshing. Put it on the on the cutting mat and then you can just slide it off when you put it in the microwave. So we'll put this in for two and a half minutes. If you've got time to check Facebook, you've got time for breakfast. And I just slid that right off. It just slides easily into the microwave. And you know what? Sometimes it's nice to have you know, that, that a little extra, maybe you're coming home from a really long day at work and you want something that's just quick, a great healthy protein, make an omelet. You've got, you know, dinner in just a couple of minutes. All you need is eggs, a few ingredients. You can make it veg vegetarian. You can make it however you want um, and all kinds of things. Speaking of different flavors, a way you can also use our April Hostess special. I mean, think about Sweet and Smoky. That's got the flavors of bacon and it's delicious in omelets as is the garlicky dill. And I wanna give you, here's one of my tips. If you have something um, that has a shaker lid, save the shaker lid because not all products come with shaker lids. And Tracy's favorite there, SPG, I save my shaker lid and put it on products that I want to use the shaker lid on. So I think, um, oh, in the multi-purpose steamer, let me talk about that. That's one more. You guys have seen it before. We highlight it so often, but I'm sure you guys know it. But we highlighted this and actually our very first stir crazy. So check that, um, you know, that recording out Let your consultant know that you'd love to watch it if you don't know where to find it. But imagine I took on the road, six eggs in this, chopped up ham in my prep bowl, some eggs. I already had the three onion in there, shook it all up, did it in a hotel room, 
we had egg sandwiches on the road. It was super simple. So the steamer in that collection is also another great way to pair with your cruet. So I think that is all that I had to share. We're just going to finish cooking that up, but uh, all kinds of ways that you can use the cruet in the funnel and those scissors, they're fantastic um, for things that maybe you hadn't thought about before. So I hope that uh, maybe you're thinking of different ways you can use that omelet maker and crew it in the mornings for sure. So I'm going to pass it on. I'm not sure who's doing the close out. Is it Tracy or Stacy who's uh, doing our little wrap up? Stacy's back. So I'll see if she wants oh, to do it. But go. I did want to just do a little plug too, because I know that our teams catch this sometimes. Like this is the part of the reason we do this. So whether you're a teammate or you're rather a valued host or customer, you guys, the thing about Epicure that's so fantastic is they give us resources. So while Sherry, Tracy, and I have our moments of brilliance, Epicure gives us the tools. So um, if you're a consultant on our team, please know that you've got these handy resources. It's what we go back to and refer to um, to help um, ourselves and our customers know the tips and tricks and um, features of, uh, of the product. Oh my gosh, Sherry, that looks fantastic. Look that. that was two and a half minutes. I mean, imagine breakfast isn't ready in two and a half minutes. If you prep it ahead and you're through it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just as fast as if you went through the drive through but you know exactly what's in that. I love that. Yay. Absolutely. Trace, you want to take over dear? You got it. Uh, I'll still have you do the wrap up, but I'm just here for questions, but I'm going to keep the mute on for a second longer. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's open it. We, we did this a little quicker this time, but you guys, any questions that you have specifically about things that we shared or something that you love, what's a tip or trick that you love with your cookware too? Because oftentimes you are the inspiration that I had no idea. I could like the strainer I thought was a strainer. I had no idea it was a tortilla bowl maker. So share that, whether you come off of mute or drop it in the comments. We hope that you found at least, you know, sometimes we do these stir crazies and I've heard from people like, oh my gosh, that was so much great information. Awesome. Take one or two of those things that you'll put into practice this week um, that will be useful for your meal time and your meal prep. Um, and we hope that you will share that. So all consultants, we have our customer groups. It's so great when you post a picture of that or text it to your consultant. We love knowing that you're winning at dinner time. Like that just is really rewarding for us to see, but it's just really great too for other people in our community to see like, yeah, like that is a different way. I hadn't thought of using this strainer. I hadn't thought of doing um, eggs in a cruet or, you know, whatever. So does anyone have any questions? Otherwise we're going to wrap this up and get you on your way. Oh, I do have the eight cup big cup pot. Do you want to see the comparison in size? Yeah, that's great, Sherry. Thanks. So this is the big guy. That's the 12 cup. And this is the eight cup, which is still a nice size pot. Um, so there, I mean, there's a four cup difference. What I love too is when you're storing them in your cupboard, they can oh. stack really nicely. Um, so if your cupboard space, if you know, it's kind of limited. I also love the measurements on the sides, like Stacy said. Um, but I'm going to tell you a story that I love about the pots as well. My mom has terrible arthritis. So this handle is huge for mobility issues. When you've got a handle that's out like this and you're holding it like this, that's really hard on somebody with arthritis in their shoulder, elbow, wrist, doesn't matter. Being able to hold like this is ergonomically designed for comfort. You can lift it easily. So um yeah i i got rid of all my other pots in the house these are the only ones i have now other than my giant pasta pot <laughs> i also have a customer who has an rv and she loves her multi-purpose pot because it's tall and skinny so it doesn't take up so much room in a cabinet and because mm -hmm. it's so tall and skinny things like our tall spice jars she stores inside of it oh, so when smart. she's not using then she's not worried about them falling over and breaking out of the cupboard if they're all contained yeah. so handy well, that was a great little pitch because we are going to tell you guys that our next stir crazy event, we're going to bring to you some tips and recipes for as you are traveling. So make sure that you are back again the last Saturday of April. We will get out the registration. We will get you more details. 
Um, again, just today, what we featured was that kitchen setup collection. So collectively, you could get all of those pieces in the kitchen setup collection. Again, great as a hostess half price or get it for free. Great as something that you can gift to someone. Just great as something that you could purchase and then break it apart in gifting. So, so many ways that you can use that, whether it's for yourself or gifting it to someone else. But again, so many ways to use those always to simplify mealtime. It's all about helping you to prepare those meals at home that your family will enjoy, helping you to make the meal prep and the cleanup easy. So we hope that you found value in that. Again, we would love for you to go to your consultant's page and share um, something that you've loved about this or something that you love about the cookware. Always circle back to your consultant. How can we be of service to you? That is ultimately why we continue to bring these events to you. So if there's something specific you want to have help around one-on-one, -on -one, great. If there's something that we can bring into the whole group collectively, please share that as well. Um, oh my gosh, where I went to. Tracy, I totally didn't write down the notes because it was going to be your part. <laughs> I, I, would, I was going to say on that note of share with your consultant, we are going to be sharing a survey to wrap up the event as we do each month. And if you can fill out the survey form, it just takes a couple of minutes, but it really helps us know that what we're providing is of value to you. But also it gives you the opportunity to tell us what you want to see in the future. So if you've got ideas of things that maybe you're not sure how to use them, or maybe you'd like more ideas, there's something in the back of your cupboard that you're saying, I bought it, but I don't know how to use it. Let us know. Because the last thing we want to know is that you've got stuff in your kitchen that you're not using. If you've purchased it, we want to see that you're happy with your purchase. And so we would love to help you use them. And also, I love to that when we're doing these events, maybe you've thought of the crew at before for salad dressings, for instance, but now you've got another way that you can use it. So it adds value to that product too, as well, because it just shows you that your investment is worth it. And I think the more we can use our products, the more that we are going to enjoy cooking um, and making those great meals at home because we are at home as much as we, we don't want to, you know, to face that the pandemic is continuing, it is. And the more that we can be enjoying our meals at home, the, the happier we're all going to be. So that's a plug for our survey. And also the survey will have registration for next month as well. Um, and I'm not sure if I froze here, but I think somebody might have. <laughs> Um, so yeah, register for next month and, and uh, you know, on the road is, is going to be a fun one as well, using things in, in different ways for traveling. And I mean, yes, we can still travel in a pandemic. So <laughs> is there anything awesome. else we forgot? I think we're all wrapping up. Hey? No, I think it was really about if you're a, if you're a customer or host to think about reaching out and booking a cooking class. Uh, there's actually still time to get in on those amazing March rewards. I have a class on the final day of the month and that host is committed to getting to a mega, the mega reward, which is the bonus $50. So there is still time. And if you're a consultant, there's still time for you to do one. And remember this kitchen setup kit makes a great half price item because you can break it up and do lots of things with it. Absolutely. I love a good last minute flash party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you can do a one-stop and shop too. It, it could be a one-day wonder. Talk to your consultant about how you want that to look. But if you're looking at those March rewards, definitely there's lots of time. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys are able to join us again next month. And we look forward to co connecting with you all again. And once again, just keep sharing what you learn here. Share on your consultant's VIP pages. Share even on your personal pages because that just helps us share the Good Food Mission. Happy Saturday, everybody. Thank you again to everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.